Hello and welcome back. It's me, Mr. Sullivan. That's me right here with my beautiful bald head and my beautiful family. I live and work here in Germany where Mr. Brust used to work. But in one step, he went from beautiful Germany all the way down here to getting kicked by Italy and living in Sicily. Now he works with you guys in Siganella. And uh, for all of you all over the world using these sites, just understand that we are American teachers and we do teach in Europe. Strange but true. Today we're going to talk about one-step equations. So what does it mean to solve an equation? So when we solve equations, we are actually trying to find a value that makes a statement true. And this is a mathematical statement, okay? It's an equation because there's an equal sign that sets two sides equal to each other, all right? And think of this as a balance, like a scale. If I have one side um, equaling something, I need the other side to be the same, right? Like a teeter-totter. We don't want one side of the teeter-totter to go up higher than the other. We want the teeter-totter to be balanced right in the middle like a scale, all right? So what number would I have to put here that I add 3 to to get 8? Well, that number is 5. So 5 plus 3, while it looks different, it equals 8. All right, so solving equations is that step right there. Actually figuring out what I need to put in there. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this now. Um, we're going to rewrite this verbally, okay? And I know it's a little strange to think about this sometimes, writing things verbally, but I want to talk about what this actually means, all right? So what is this saying? This is saying an unknown value. I don't know what that value is. An unknown value plus 5 equals 12. That's what it means. Something plus 5 equals 12. Now, I know some of you are shouting out the answer. I know, I know, I know. But just relax. We're going to get to it, all right? This is kind of easy section today, and that's fine, all right? So let's talk about the opposite. What is the opposite of adding 5? The opposite of adding 5 would be subtracting 5. All right, and the solution would be what? If I, what number plus five equals 12? I would do seven, that's right. So seven plus five equals 12. Let's try another one. Verbally, we have this situation, all right? We have three times what number equals 12? So three times an unknown, I know I'm using that word unknown and uh, we could call it a variable. 3 times an unknown equals 12. I don't want you to call it question mark. I don't want you to be like, 3 times question mark equals 12. 3 times an unknown value equals 12. All right. So what's the opposite of times or multiplying? The opposite of times or multiplying would be dividing by 3. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. And our solution, what number times 3 equals 12? That's right. 4 is that magic number. All right, so now we're going to formalize this a little bit. We have a different way of doing this. Okay, um, a lot of these we can do in our head. Like, we just did a lot of that in our head, and that's fine. That's awesome. Okay, but we need a formal way to do this so that when we go through this here, we can figure out a method when we get stuck. All right, so let's see. What operation is bothering the variable? We have x divided by 2 equals negative 5. So what operation is bothering the variable? We have division. That is our operation that is, that is bothering this. So then I want to think, what's the opposite or what's the inverse operation? So our inverse is to multiply. All right, so I'm going to multiply. And the opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2. And I'm going to show you why we do that here in just a second. So when I multiply both sides by 2, you'll notice that these 2's here cancel out. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and that leaves me with an x. And over on this side, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And the reason we did the opposite here was it canceled out. I want to get this x all by itself. When I solve these equations, I want to get the variable all by itself. Sometimes we say we isolate the variable, okay? And that's what we're doing. I'm moving everything 
that is not a number that is just an x to the other side. To move it from one side to the other side, I need to undo it. I need to do the inverse operation. And the inverse operation here, the inverse of dividing by 2 was multiplying by 2. All right, let's take a look and try another one. Over here, let's see, what operation do I have? I have multiplying by negative 5. I'm going to draw a line down here, and I'd like you to start doing the same. This way we understand what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So what operation is going to cancel this? What's my inverse or opposite of multiplying? It's dividing. And if I divide this side by negative 5, what do I have to do to this side? I have to divide this side by negative 5. Let's bring that equal sign down. Notice that when we have these equations, the equal sign never moves. It goes straight down with us. All right? So the great thing here, negative 5 cancels with negative 5 because negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. So we have 1x. Now we don't typically write the 1 there. And what is 30 divided by negative 5? Well, it is negative 6. All right. Now let's check it real quick. Negative 5 times negative 6. Does that equal 30? Negative 5, that is 30. 30 equals 30. So we did check it, and it worked. All right, let's come on over here. I want to isolate or get my k by itself. I'm going to draw this line down the middle. What is the opposite operation of adding? This is adding 6.25. I want to get it to the other side, so I have to subtract 6.25. I'm going to subtract 6.25 from both sides. Take a look here. Positive 6.25 and negative 6.2 cancel out. They equal 0, so I'm just left with the positive k. And 2.75 minus 6.25 equals negative 3.5. Let's check it. All right. 6.25 minus or plus negative 3.5. Does that equal 2.75? 6.25 plus that, yes, it actually does work out. And check. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh, he's not really checking these. Well, I am checking these. All right? You don't want to get in the habit of just writing them down. All right, I'd like you to pause the video and try these two on your own. Check them as well. See if you got them right. All right, over here, the opposite operation of dividing by 7 was multiplying by 7. These two numbers canceled out, and I was left with n equals negative 21 when I multiplied by 7 on both sides. What did I forget here? I forgot to draw my line right down the middle, didn't I? All right. Over here, I have subtracting 1.4. The opposite of minus 1.4 is adding 1.4 to both sides. So I have h equals negative 2.1. You can see I checked my answers here at the bottom. They both worked out right, so we're good to go. All right, so that's the introduction to solving equations. We're going to bump it up a notch next time. Make sure you are doing your best and trying to figure these out correctly and showing your work correctly because as they get harder, you always want to be able to fall back and know that you can solve equations properly. All right, good luck on the master check, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!